This year's commemoration of the Day of the Girl Child in Change Your District kicked off with an adolescent girl dialogue organized by the Organization of African First Ladies Against HIV and AIDS and the UN Children's Body UNICEF, where girls highlighted challenges affecting their success. Kristen Kabaranjira, a senior sixth candidate at Change Your SS, says that border border cyclists pose a threat to girls' education. Sexual harassment and abuse by teachers and border border men. And the police officers, let me call it, they decide to leave these offenders to go. And the result is these people are coming back. They will come laugh at us. And next time they are going to continue defiling us and draping us. But border border riders say that the girls ask for favors like lifts and money. Ah ah, ito chi tu kigira, mubwa mese bwe ito akuba ntu manyo gumwana. Ito tswera abakazi abakuru. Wa uli, ito ake chi ofana butegi de fulfillment. Eh, tu baswe. Abwo kuba nu bwa kutwe makura. Ake mebwa kubanga bo bwa funa omuntu namwe mtwaro nge ebiri. Ngata ya gara simu. Ah, ngazitwara. So, parents must facilitate their children to avoid temptations. Judith Kebirunji, a senior three student at St. Andrews High School, Katosa, advised fellow girls to be brave. We meet those obstacles like the border border men. They say, you, you look at her. She has big breasts. She's going to school. What is she going to do? But we as girls, we are saying we are going to remain focused. Say no. Write that word no on our faces. That no is a no. Change your district LC5 chairman, Kaija Williams, says that change your teenage pregnancy rates in the district have reached 27%. First Lady and Minister for Education Janet Museveni acknowledged the challenge, asking police to ensure that the girls are protected. Now these border borders have become a problem on their own. But the police in our society are so distant from our, our, our problems, the problems of the society they, they are supposed to protect. These young children. So, what are we doing? She wants parents to return to a traditional way of raising a child where every member of the community was responsible. And yet we have religious leaders in every community. They are religious leaders. I know I grew up in a society where every mother was my mother. And I would be scared to do anything wrong on my way to school or coming from school knowing that there would be a woman somewhere who would be watching. And if I was doing anything wrong, they would get me, they would beat me up and take me home and tell my mother and she would beat me up again. Under the theme, Empowering Girls, emergency response and resilience planning, the First Lady also launched the Gender in Education Sector Policy 2017. Oh, let us come together, we rise up Michael Jordan Nukomwa and Bernard Yiga, reporting for UBC News. <laughs>